Hey guys, Frenzy Plays here, and welcome back to the Manchester United player career mode. Hopefully, we can do a little bit better than we did in the last episode. Last episode was a shambles. We got sent off. Everything did not go our way, apart from the last game where we played Blackpool, and actually did all right. But we're starting off today straight into the actual game. Here we are. We're running off there. All right, we're going to have... Four shots on target, guys. We're hoping for at least four shots on target. We're going with a decent enough starting eleven. We are playing Crystal Palace, though, so we do have the likes of Mason Mount. We've got Hannibal and stuff playing as well. But right, guys, to show you something now. Oh, wait. Can I show you? Come on, Frenzy. I have a five-star skills now, guys. I do have five-star skills. We'll switch the ball over. I just wanted to show you. We've got five-star skills now, so hopefully... We can be a little bit more win that frenzy. I've actually won a header. Okay, this is a good start. I've got the ball. Frenzy, blaze! That's an awful. That is an awful shot. I saw how far wide that went. It's not a bad start early on. Wasn't the best of shots though. Dean Henderson is back at Old Trafford. But guys, like I said, we got five star skills. Hopefully, I can be a little bit more um, showboaty. Although we know how that cost us in the last episode, so we're gonna have to. Do it in fine caution, guys. That's what I'd say. Certainly do it in fine caution. But we started early off there. Early doors with a decent opportunity. Probably should have done a little bit better. Tom Heaton there. there. Oh, oh, bloody. Is that our pass back now? I mean, I'll take it. If it's not a pass back, the game's not going to give it a pass back. I don't mind. Oh, no. Palace are through. Jeffrey Schlob. Tom Heaton with a massive save, guys. Oh, my God. I love you, Tom Heaton. What a save that is. He's single-handedly kept us in this game. Well done, Tom. And again, and he's claimed it as well. A very well done, Tom. There's nothing we could do without you. And right, he's thrown it to me. We've got a bit of space. Oh, no, he's thrown it to Aaron. Aaron has played it to me. Can we beat our man? Yes, we can. With a lovely flip flap in front of the Stratford end. I thought I scored. I genuinely thought I scored then for a second. It rustled the top of the net. I thought it went in. How close was that? I'm sorry, guys. We're gonna. I'm gonna do something I've not done here before. Okay. Look at this, by the way. So we've hit it on the edge. Look at this angle. Look at the Old Trafford crowd. Look at that. The knuckleball. Oh wow. That is. Oh my. Oh. Ooh, bloody hell, that was a bit of a weird angle, wasn't it? Uh, can we zoom out, please? Look at how close that is, guys. We are literally centimetres away from hitting the bar and a, a good inch from it going in. That is not a bad effort at all, though, guys. Good start to the second half. We're at least trying something now. We've had a shot. Zero on target still, which um, for our thing is not going to put us in good stead. But right, Vlahovic, off we go. You've played me. Plays. What can I do? I've cut inside. Bang! He saved it. That's our first shot on target. Probably should have done a bit better with it, guys. I can't lie to you. But we're having opportunities in this second half. Two now in front of the Stretford end. Two for us. We've got to keep going, though, and hopefully we can get something from this game. Because currently, it's still nil-nil. We've won it back well, though. Vlahovic, you've played it to Bruno. Right, I don't know why we've gone backwards there, to be honest, boys. But sometimes you've got to go backwards to go forwards. Marcus! It's a big save. Can we get out? No, okay. Can we put them under? Aaron, put them under. Put them under with me. Well done. Vlahovic. Good running, boys. Right. They've managed to escape their press, but like I said before... Oh! Play me! Marcus! Oh, the ball was all wrong. Oh, dear. Jaden Sancho is playing for Palace. Oh, my God, and he's nearly scored. He has nearly, nearly scored, guys. Here we go. The last attack of the game, I'm guessing. What can we do? We'll find Vlahovic. Vlahovic, wait for the run. Mason, come on. We've got loads of space here. There's one minute of added time. And unfortunately, we can't do anything with it, guys. The game has finished nil-nil. I do feel sorry for the fans at Old Trafford after that one. Not the result that we wanted. Arsenal winning 4-0. City did draw 2 all though, guys. That leaves us in a little bit of good stead. Wasn't the best of performances. We kept a clean sheet, but we didn't do enough to win the game. Right, guys. Here we are for game number two. We are in the Champions League against Galatasaray. In real life, 
this game, like near or four Manchester United games, guys, didn't go to plan. How many times have I said that in this career? And we're already only playing Galatasaray at home. Eric Ten Hag is behind us there. We're going to get an enhanced target rate of a shot conversion of 65%. We're at Old Trafford underneath the night lights, even though it was only 5.55pm, which um, in October in Manchester, trust me, from personal knowledge, wouldn't be this dark. <laughs> it just wouldn't be that dark at all. Maybe, you know, give it a month or two and maybe then it certainly will be, but um, it wouldn't be the middle of the night in the start of October like this. So, um, it's one thing you want to improve on game. It would be more like dusky sort of weather, but oh well. Who cares? Marcus Rashford is running through. For some reason, he's decided not to run through and go in a straight line and attack the goal. He's decided to try and back heel it to Christ knows who. And we've lost the ball. Hopefully, though, that is not a sign of things to come. We're in the Champions League. And we nearly went 1-0 down. Rashford, you're running down the wing. You've given it to Vlahovic. Vlahovic! It's 1-0. Manchester United have gone 1-0 up. It's a lovely goal. From Vlahovic, lovely play from Marcus Rashford as well. We're celebrating with Vlahovic. Look at that, a lovely cut inside. Vlahovic, good take, good finish. There I am, you know, just in case there's any rebounds or anything. But Vlahovic makes it 1-0 to Manchester United against Galatasaray in the Champions League. That is how we do it. Hopefully, that is a sign of better things to come as well. We've scored our first goal of the episode, and I must say... It isn't a bad one to score either. All right, Rashford. Look at us. 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 Yes, you have. Right, Vlahovic, make a run. Okay, Vlahovic did, but he was getting marked. So, right, we'll go the other way instead. We found a good ball there to Luke. Luke Shaw. You've given it Marcus. Who's giving it Bruno? Oh, we were unlucky there, guys. We were certainly unlucky. We nearly made it 2-0. Not soon after making it 1. But it's half-time. 1-0 to Manchester United. Things are looking up. Right, guys, we've got the ball. What can we do with it? We've taken it around our defender with a bit of great skill here. Can we go all the way in front of the Stratford end? Of course we can. Frenzy plays. has got his goal. Look at this, guys. Is it his eyes he's covering or his mouth? I don't know. I don't know which one he's covering. I think it's his eyes. It might be his mouth. I'm not too sure. It's our own celebration. I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> but what a finish in front of the Stratford end. Look at that. Bang. Keeper's got no chance. It's our first goal in the Champions League. 2-0 now to Manchester United. And surely we are going to win this game. It's like a catastrophe. And I can barely say that word. It would take an absolute catastrophe for us not to win. And right, can we get a third? Off we go. Marcus Flahovic. I've created a lot of space down here on the wing. Our fullback does not want to compete with us, guys, does he? He certainly doesn't, although we have just run in to a centre mid instead. Oh, bloody hell, don't take him out, Frenzy. We need to be cautious. We need to be careful. We don't want any cards in this episode. Ziek, though. Bang. We'll play Vlahovic. Vlahovic. Oh, my God. What the hell was that? We'll give the Stratford end a little bit of what they deserve, guys. Look at this. A little bit of showboating going on here by Frenzy. He'll probably get his leg snapped in a minute. But he's still going. Look at... Oh, he's lost the ball. Um, <clears throat> the Stratford end wouldn't be impressed with that. But it is 2-0. Manchester United come out victorious in the Champions League. For the first time, I think, this season, if I'm not mistaken, guys. I think that is the first time this season. We won man of the match, by the way, in the Champions League. We were 2-0 victors. I think that takes us up to three points now. Look at that. UEFA Champions League man of the match for the very first time is myself, Frenzy Plays. Right, guys, and here we are. It's an Old Trafford special in today's episode. We're at Old Trafford again for the final time in today's episode because we are playing Brentford. Bloody... She looked a little bit worse for wear there, guys. I can't lie to you. We're going to skip that <laughs> before I get scared. Holy moly. We're back on the right wing. Successful cross rate. Why not? We'll enhance that one, guys. Here we go. We are against a Brentford. This is the game. I was actually sat up there. Where we're facing now, guys, for the Brentford game, I was sat up by... Let me, let me run towards the area. I was sat up by this area over here, guys. That is where I was sat. To watch the Scott McTominay Masterclass. Two goals 
in what I think was added time or like one in the 90th minute, one in like the 93rd. And let's just say, guys, it went a little bit crazy. But can we score? We can do what Manchester United couldn't. We scored six minutes in. And look at this, guys. Here we go. Frenzy plays. Is it over his eyes? It is. It's like this, guys. Over his eyes. The Marcus Rashford. But we can't see. Look at that. Frenzy. Bang. Lovely finish. Flecken doesn't have a chance. And unlike Manchester United in real life, yet again, by the way, we've got a 1-0 up and we've scored a goal without it being in added time. That is certainly a lot better. And do you know what? This episode compared to last episode is like, I was about to say, for some reason, excuse my French guys, um, I was about to say it's the difference between shit and shoes. <laughs> I don't think that's the saying. I don't know where I got that from. Um, but it's the difference. But what, what is the phrase now? Do you know what? I'm going to stick with shit and shoes. <laughs> it's a new phrase you could use, guys, yourself. It's the difference between shit and shoes. Why would you want? No! <gasps> Tom Heaton with another big save. Does Tom Heaton have to play, like, so many Premier League games or something? What's going on here? But it's the difference, guys, between last episode and this episode. It is a crazy. All right. Can we continue it? Frenzy. Down the wing we go. Can we cross it in? No, we can't. It's good defending from... Biragi there to be fair. He's made us look an absolute fool and he's tackled as well. But it's 1-0 in the Premier League at Old Trafford for the third time in today's episode. Although in Buebo! Tom Heaton, genuinely, you can have my children at this rate. I know I said I'll give you a medal in the last episode. You can have my kids now. Right, guys, we're through. Frenzy in front of the Stratford end. Again! He's got a brace, guys. A frenzy plays and makes it 2-0. We're running on over to where the hardcore fans in the street. Don't forget me wrong. Everyone is a hardcore fan, guys. Whether you go to games, whether you don't, don't you worry. But well, we're going over to where the hardcore fans are. Near enough above their tunnel in that little area at their left-hand side there, guys. On the Stretford end. They're going crazy. The whole stadium's going crazy. We've got a brace. We've made it too. Alright guys, that is a little bit of a room for error as well. Obviously, you don't want to be needing room for error and hopefully we keep a clean sheet. However, if we don't, at least we have a little bit of room for error. And for myself personally, two goals in this game is absolutely massive. We got one in our last game as well. Three goals in today's episode is certainly not too bad. But right, can we get my first ever hat-trick? Not like that, no we can't. I've played it into Vlahovic. Vlahovic, what can you do? Good ball to Bruno. Bruno, look at me. You found me. Bruno Fernandes. Frenzy! I wanted the hat-trick, guys. I know I could have crossed it in then. I wanted the hat-trick. The name, uh, my name a little up in our lights, guys. All right, okay. We want this. Play it out if you can. Frenzy! Bang! Oh, a decent effort, guys. A decent effort to finish off on the edge of the box. But it doesn't matter. We are 2-0 victors. We got a brace. And we are certainly back to winning always, guys. We are certainly back to winning yeah, winning games. We are back to winning games. But we're back to winning ways. It's what I was meant to say. Two wins and a draw in today's episode. Zero goals conceded, by the way, for the whole episode. You know, that is pretty good, guys. That is pretty good. No, stop telling me. Oh, hang on. There's a new club there. Let's have a look, shall we? I'm going to say it, Manchester United. Of course I am. PSG and Atletico Madrid. Why on earth do I want to join Atletico Madrid? I do not know. High match performance. Raise me teammates. Of course, guys. That is, of course, what I'm going to do. Without my teammates, I wouldn't have been able to do it. Do you know what? We're going to buy a treadmill as well. Get a little bit more, guys. Get a little bit fitter and stuff. Well, there we go. That is all for today's episode. If you did enjoy, smash a like on the episode. Leave a comment letting me know what I should do for the next episode. In the next episode, our first game is against Sheffield United. So it's a good way to start, guys. It is a good way to start. But in the next episode, I don't know if you just saw that, we will be playing in the Manchester derby against none other than Manchester City. So if you got... Ooh, hang on. There we go. If you guys are ready for that, let me know by smashing the like button, subscribing if you are new around here. And we finally have three skill points before we go. And you know what? We're just going to upgrade our sprint speed 
and we're gonna upgrade our long shots as well. There we go, guys. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode of my Manchester United player career. Goodbye!